Hello, my name's Ian Seeger from Flyer Magazine, and a couple of weeks ago, along with Ed Hicks, we flew to Damon's Hall uh, to fly Pipistrelle's Velis Electro, the world's first certified electric aeroplane. You don't need to really think of it as being something massively different from flying an SEP aircraft. The main difference is uh, learning that it's about energy management, both in terms of physical battery life and knowing that your takeoff is going to use 3% state of charge. As, as far as the first flight, that's, that's pretty much all we would cover. Hey, can you hear me now? I can hear you. Good. I can hear you too. Okay. And supply power and we'll get moving. Watch out. Stick back. Yeah. Brakes are off. Let's get moving. And we can taxi from there. And you don't need much power. Won't you start it? Go green. Radio check anyone? My harness is secure, yours is secure. Yeah, done. Brakes off. So, that's good. Brakes Four. are off. Then, gradually feed in power. We expect to see 62 or so at about 2,300. It's a direct drive prop, so... Okay, go to full yeah. power? Yeah. yeah. So the Pipistrel has got a 65 kilowatt motor and that kind of translates roughly to 87 horsepower. It gets its energy from a couple of battery packs, one in the front in the nose where you normally find a Rotax engine and one behind the seats where you'd normally find the baggage. There's no luggage area in this aeroplane, uh, there just isn't the space for it. And while we're, while we're talking about things that it doesn't have, it doesn't have a heater either because that takes up too much uh, electricity. Bring the power back? Yeah, just a little bit. That's good, in the green. So, um, the batteries are 11 kilowatt hour each, so 22 in total. To give you some kind of uh, reference for that, a Tesla Model 3, the base model, has 50 kilowatt hour batteries, so uh, more than twice as much. And just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, don't pull back too much. The batteries provide DC current, so the electrical power goes through the power controller stroke inverter, which also sits up front with one of the batteries, and that converts it to AC power. And then the power lever inside the cockpit, what we call the throttle, changes the uh, frequency of the AC power, which, which effectively drives the speed of the motor. So we can make a smaller circuit. Yeah. Just be aware of the downdraft. The aircraft's significantly quieter both outside and inside. It's obviously not silent because there's still the prop noise, but it is a real step change and it's really, really smooth. That works. When I was flying the aircraft, I found I was paying almost constant attention to both the state of charge and the flight time remaining in minutes, although obviously the latter um, is based purely on the power setting that you've got at the time. As the first electric aeroplane, this is a huge step forward. Right now, there are some range and endurance limitations, and that will limit its use and, and, and will need to work within a very tightly controlled structure. Um, but that should get better with improvements in battery technology. You can read the full article online uh, on the Flyer magazine. The link will be in the description. That's completely free, uh, at least at the moment. So you can just go there, read the whole thing, and let us know. If you enjoyed watching the video, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and maybe even hit the bell so you get a notification when we release new content. Thanks very much for watching. Fly safe.